I am Mike Stanton, September 13th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Brian, thanks for taking some time. Thanks, Mike. A very heavy issuance calendar for the municipal mar market this week. Uh, also some important economic data. What was most important to you? Yeah, it was a pretty busy week. Uh, we saw over 15 billion come to market, uh, and that was in, uh, in, a, in a fairly active week on the broader market side. Everybody's obviously focused on next week's FOMC meeting, uh, but before that, we had CPI and PPI come in this week, which was kind of one of the last uh, data points that the Fed will look at uh, before they meet. Uh, and uh, kind of we saw uh, results come in, you know, pretty close to expectations. Uh, CPI stayed flat month over month at 0.2% as expected, and then year over year came down from uh, from 2.9 to 2.5%. Uh, which was in line with expectations. And then the next day we saw PPI also 0.2% uh, month over month and 1.7% year over year, which was down from 2.2. So, you know, pretty, uh, pretty uh, results that were pretty in line with expectations and what the market was thinking. Uh, and after that, you know, a lot of comments and some press uh, really, you know, had the market feeling uh, uh, pretty confident uh, and, and definitely a rate cut. And, you know, the question is whether it's 25 basis points or 50 basis points. Uh, but right now we've got futures pointing to a 40% a chance of a 50 basis point rate cut next week. So that's where everybody's uh, focus and attention is going to be. Um, and we'll see the supply picture quiet down on the muni side because of that. But uh, again, you know, overall, uh, we saw week over week munis underperformed a little bit uh, in the wake of our calendar. Uh, we remain mostly tax exempt remain mostly unchanged, uh, especially five years on out while treasuries rallied, you know, anywhere from kind of four to six basis points up and down the curve. So, uh, you know, while it did feel like the 15 plus billion was pretty well digested and there really were no, um, you know, major issues. Uh, we continue to see the trend where the front end does really well, the long end does really well. If there's any points of friction, you know, maybe it's kind of longer serials uh, towards the belly of the curve. But overall, it seemed uh, it seemed like the fresh one, and uh, I think it was 1.3 billion uh, in cash flows, which was an 11th straight week of uh, of fresh uh, fund flows. You know, really helped um, get get the supply digested and and perform pretty well. Yeah, and we heard some interesting comments this week talking to some people on the uh, buy side and sell side talking about the fact that, you know, while there's still the debate over 50 or 25 basis points next week, in the longer term picture, people believe rates are going lower. And so investors are really interested in investing right now, locking in these higher yields, uh, expecting that that's not going to last uh, into the future months. So uh, and the flip side is that actually serves the interest of issuers as well. You know, we've been talking for, for months about the fact that issuers are trying to front load their issuance, bring tr transactions to market ahead of the election in case there's any kind of disruption or a problem pricing bonds after the election. So, uh, you know, those those interests are aligned uh, in, in the short term and helps explain some of that performance. Any of those transactions uh, stand out to you uh, this week? Yeah, uh, BAM was very active. Uh, we priced uh, over 200 million in the primary market. So uh, pretty busy and in a, in a fairly diversified uh, book of business. Uh, some of the highlight deals were a 45 million uh, competitive sale for Hale County, Texas, which was purchased by Jefferies, uh, and then a $44 million Rialto USD COP, uh, which was a negotiated deal uh, priced by Piper Sandler. Um, and, and to your point, you know, with the, with the supply uh, in focus, everybody's really expecting a heavy push before the election. As you said, the visible supply is really elevated um, and, uh, and people are expecting to be really busy between now and November. So uh, not a lot of uh, not a lot of breather, but next week uh, will be at least a little bit of a pause uh, while the market watches FOMC. And one thing you noted, there are several transactions we're watching on the calendar that are kind of game time decisions, whether insurance is going to be necessary, the structures, uh, when to bring in transactions, underwriters and issuers are really watching the market closely. Um, so I just encourage our viewers to check out the BAM website. We uh, Every time a transaction is awarded to BAM, we publish a pre-sale credit profile on the website so you can see the upcoming calendar there and keep an eye on what's coming to the market. Thanks for your time this week, Brian. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.